Dang bad habit. Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So, or welcome back or welcome for the first time. Anyways, here we go. We are talking about the Pretty Poison palette. So Bad Habit has quit duping everyone else and came out with their very own palette. Ooh. So maybe they've learned from everyone else's dupes how to create the perfect palette. And perfect it is. So this palette is made out of cardboard sleek, which I think is what helps them keep their prices uh, really competitive and really low. So I'll put the price of this palette right here. Anyways, let's get into this. So the mirror is, is really big, so you can take this palette with you while you travel and have a good size mirror. So I always like to look at those ladies that like to travel or have to travel and, and kind of keep you guys in mind when I'm reviewing these palettes because I think that is important. A lot of times when we're getting on the plane, we want to carry the least amount of product as possible, but have the most options. Enough said. Let's get into this. So I, I really wanted to go with a very bold purple eye. Totally bold, totally purple, in your face, excited, right? Which I may still do, and if I still do it, pictures right here. Well, when I started going in with the colors, my the color palette quickly changed. Not that I meant for the color palette to quickly change, but as I was playing with some of the colors and getting a, a foundation started, I was like, ooh, we're going to go in a different direction, which is kind of more of, I don't want to say mauve, but maybe. Maybe with a pinkish undertone. So let me tell you about the colors that I used and why I liked them. And then I'll have a quick tutorial at the end of this to show you how I came up with this eye look. I am totally thrilled with this eye look. I think that it is a good mid-range eye look. So it's not too light because y'all know I too light. Everyone always thinks I'm sick. If I do my eyes too light or not at all, just mascara, I always get asked if I'm sick. So for me, this is a really good light medium eye. For most people, it's probably a medium eye, but I didn't really like get into dark colors with this. So I'm kind of proud of myself, kind of proud of myself. And then I matched it with um, a lip that matches the eyes. And so we'll get into that in a moment also. All right, so the colors. I started out with Pierced Heart. Pierced Heart is what I used right above the crease, and that ended up having a bit of fallout, and so because I didn't tap my brush, it was like, whoa, but it blended out really nice, and that's what I was worried about since I had done like this big old streak. Was that streak going to stay, or was it going to blend down? It blended down really nice, so when I did my other eye, I made sure I tapped my brush. The other colors, I really didn't have to do that on, so I found that kind of interesting, but that's, you know, subject for another time. So Antidote is what I used on the outside of the eye here and underneath the eye, which I thought was a nice color to ground. Not too dark, not too light, just right, says the three little bears. Then we took Paralyzed, and instead of doing a cut crease because I didn't have a lot of time this morning, I just took this beautiful Paralyzed, and it went on amazing. Like the Paralyzed went on so good, you don't ever need to do a cut crease with Paralyzed. But the Paralyzed color is such a pretty, pretty pink that, and I'm not a pink person, but this is like the, the most perfect pink ever in, on the whole world, forever and ever, amen. This is the pink you want. I just believe it. So then I had taken and snared, and I have that a little bit under the brow bone, but I wanted to pop the inner tear duct, and that's when this heaven's goodness called nectar comes in. It is a duochrome. So the duochrome, it looks white, but as I turn, it picks up a peachish pink color, which is stunning. I don't know that it's picking up on camera as well as it is in person. I guess I'll see when I edit it, but it is stunning. I mean, the shift in the color, gorgeous. So 
I was like, I love this color. I love this color. So I went ahead and put that underneath the brow bone a little bit on top of this ensnared just to brighten it up a little bit more. I'm totally, totally excited. So overall, normally I use a lot of colors and maybe I guess I did. I used one, two, three, four, five colors. So I guess I did use more than I thought, but I really, really like this palette. Totally, totally like this palette. I still want to use this in an eye look, and I really want to use this color in an eye look, and I really want to use this color in an eye look. So I have a feeling you're going to see this palette again, or I may insert some pictures. Um, I do like this color Sting, but a lot of palettes have this color Sting, so I'm not like rushing to use Sting. I may. I may. Who knows? So anyways, I wanted to give you kind of a first impression on this Pretty Poison because I find this palette pretty amazing. And again, for the price point, I think it's fantastic. And now I just want to see, is Bad Habit going to get duped? Huh? I loved it. I love it. Well, I hope you enjoy this first impressions video. And in a second, you're going to be able to see me use it in action to create this eye look. As far as the lip goes, goodness gracious, I used a lip liner from Morphe called Bar. So that's the darker color you see around the edge because I just, I guess I went back in time and wanted my little lip liner to show. And then I used, uh, on top of that, Doll Face from Too Faced, the Peach Collection. So I, I just found that the lip really matched well with the eye. It was like it was all meant to be today. All meant to be. Anyways, here we go. Hi, missus. Just realized my camera wasn't filming. Oh. Okay, Marlena's dogs snore while she's on camera and mine barks. So bear with me, bear with me. I popped on Antidote underneath the eye. I really like how this color is setting up on the eye. I think it's very, very pretty and kind of tilting my head back looking for any patchiness and just kind of going to work in anywhere I may have missed while my head was tilted forward. So Tilting your head back, you can see your eyeshadow in a whole new light. All right, we're going to pick up the color Paralyzed. Yeah, my eye look this morning was going to be completely different than what it's turning out to be. And that's okay. This is a nice surprise. We're going to grab some of this nectar because this is some nectar goodness right there. And it's like, kind of like a duochrome. Oh, wow. That picks up so pretty. I hope it's picking up that pretty on camera. This is a beautiful palette. Beautiful palette. Okay, I'm going to keep going. I'm actually going to use a mauve eyeliner on the inside of my eye. We're going to go in with Sephora's Waterproof Outrageous Intense Eyeliner. This is an Intense on it. I'm going to go ahead and put on my finishing spray now that um, I've got the powders done. For false eyelashes today, I'm going to use the Kara number 110. I think I got those free from Shop Hush. They don't scream va va boom. So I'm going to, I'm actually putting them on before a coat of mascara because they're kind of thin and light. I'm going to try to mix my eyelashes in with these and get a thicker look. And that's how we're going to get this potty started. Okay, several coats of mascara with the Kara's blending together. That also helps the eyelashes stick together. There we go. So I finished this eye look using Pretty Poison. I am pretty excited about how it looks. I have no lies to tell. Thank you so much pretty for colors. watching my video today using the Pretty Poison. As you could tell, I was pretty excited about it. Pretty dang excited about it. Loved it. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I'd like to know if you've bought this palette yet. What are your favorite colors? What are the color combos that you just thought stood out? What makes your heart sing? Because this eye look kind of makes my heart sing today. 
I just, I'm in touch with it. I'm in touch with it. I do, I really would like to know your thoughts at, on this Pretty Poison palette from Bad Habit. Um, are you as excited about it as I am? I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts below. And you know how I like to wrap this up. You have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time, see you again soon.